Last year you talked about you know, UNESCO and the application for the UNESCO uh, re renewal. Is there now movement a a away from alcohol and beer? We had a, a, a talk uh, last year about uh, the intangible cultural heritage uh, recognized by UNESCO. Uh, and that is of course of uh, the, the utmost importance also because why? It is an indication that um, you have at least something which is valuable and different. Eh? Because uh, let's be honest, beer has been made all over the world. Um, but there is something particular when it comes to Belgian beer. It's not better, others are not eh, worse. It's just, it's different. And the fact that this has been clearly also objectively uh, been recognized by an institution as UNESCO is, that really is, is, is a first starting point which is very crucial and valuable to, to, to build a logic. A logic where you can bring other items, other uh, assets also to the equation because that's what it's all about. People don't want to come to Belgium just to visit the beer culture. The beer culture actually is something which is intangible. And why is that? It's because it is composed by a, a, a lot of tangible assets. You have a lot of beer routes in Belgium, you have a lot of beer festivals in Belgium, you have a lot of breweries, you have a lot of authentic beer bars. Um, so the offer is very wide, but now the thing is, how can you make a destination like Belgium, how can you make that attractive? Eh? Be because of and thanks to the subject of beer and beer culture. And so if you bring beer culture recognized by UNESCO together with the high and uh, uh, valued reputation also of the Belgian beer and the beers and its diversity, um, and you add to that a lot of initiatives that have been uh, undertaken now in different breweries, and now with the apotheosis eh, of the Belgian beer world, eh, a, a Belgian beer experience center, a generic environment, a physical hub, that really explains the ins and outs of Belgian beer compared to the other beer cultures in the world, well then you bring all the pieces together. And then you have something which can really be used as a kind of lever to, uh, to not only promote the beer culture, but also explain that beer culture is something which has more to it than just the fermented liquid in the glass. And it can also be uh, a, a drink that uh, contains lower or no alcohol, because in itself it originates from a tradition and an authenticity that has been there throughout centuries. And that is what uh, is so uh, amazing uh, to see and to uh, experience in uh, an occasion like uh, the Blues of Europe Forum uh, this year. And is that supported politically in Belgium? Because we're seeing now the elections, some, some politicians are you know, talking about, oh, we're spending so much on this and that uh, in terms of beer. Do you? Do you find there's a counter-reaction growing in Belgium or is it pretty well accepted across the political parties? For me it's uh, pretty well accepted across the, uh, the different political parties. The only debate actually that is uh, really at the heart of, uh, of uh, the discussions right now is everything what this has to do with uh, alcohol abuse. So the, 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 the harmful consumption of alcohol, that is something that needs to be really uh, uh, analyzed and, and, and looked closer to it. Because um, we also, as an industry, we don't really want to have uh, this kind of context where people uh, get drunk uh, and, uh, and, and have a lot of side effects also when it comes to, uh, to, to their consumption. Uh, we want to take our social responsibility as well as uh, producers as actors in the entire debate and that's what we uh, want to do also together with the government in order to make sure that we have a kind of a dialogue um, where we can emphasize on things that are more than just the liquid in this glass. Uh, it is a, a cultural experience, it's something which really brings people together, it's a convivial aspect and it is part of our uh, culture and our DNA. And, and for the beer scene in Belgium, we've seen a, a few, uh, quite a few failures, at least in the craft world. Is that a worry? Is there something that can be done? Or is this a natural progression of the industry? Well, I uh, think that we have indeed now, um, for the first time in many years, some smaller breweries, some smaller entities that had to close uh, their doors. Um, that's, of course, that's a pity, um, because um, we, uh, we really, embraced the fact that uh, during the last uh, two decades uh, every year we saw the number of breweries growing in Belgium um, and that is also part of our diversity. For us this is really um, 
yeah, a kind of uh, movement that we that we that we dislike. Um, however, we see that uh, brewers are confronted with a lot of issues, a lot of challenges uh, after the COVID pandemic uh, situation, the close down of uh, the lockdown of the horeca, the untrade business. Uh, we have the energy crisis. We have the uh, indexation of uh, of our uh, salaries and the wages. We have uh, hyperinflation on raw material prices. We have uh, the the lack of uh, availability of uh, some uh, packaging materials. And then on top of that, now you see also that the purchasing price, prices, uh, or, or power, sorry, or the cost of living of the households is under pressure, not only in Belgium, but also outside of Belgium. So add that all together. And then if you're just a young, new startup activity um, in the beer brewing industry, then you might be uh, confronted indeed with uh, some challenging and tough times. And that is really, really something we would like to avoid. That's also the reason why I think we have to continue to put our efforts in promoting the Belgian beer as a generic brand and to develop the category and to inspire the Belgian beer community because it's only by doing that all together that we can try to uplift a little bit the, um, the consumption um, in, a, in a responsible way, of course. So there is light at the end of the tunnel for Belgium. The glass in Belgium it. is always half full. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for talking to the beer agents.